Hi guys, and welcome back. This is AC taking you through Divinity Original Sin. And we just finished the lighthouse here. And let's report back to these guys. How did it go? Don't spare any details. We need to make a full report to the lieutenant. So let's help them out we don't have to help them but why not now that's an interesting story clean the grit from your ears and I'll tell you all about it indeed now there's a story worthy of an audience and I'm sure Selenia will be thrilled to hear we did it another triumph for Legion daring do and if this doesn't buy us a ticket home, nothing will. So there you go. We should get a reward for that, hopefully. So, what we'll do today is we're going to get the optional character. And do a little bit more in Sicil Town. I'm pretty sure we've killed everything in this area now. We shouldn't have to worry going back. And we're going to say bye to our ranger for a short time. But we'll probably get her back soon enough. So in this well, it's near the west gate of town where we had the first battle if we go inside the well here there's our new character and he's quite an original character too if he stops walking you see a shady looking figure fishing coins of gold out of the muddy water that pools beneath the well overhead his movements are quick and nervous, but nevertheless, he seems to enjoy stuffing what cash he can find into the many pockets of his shabby garb. So absorbed is he in his coin holding that at first he doesn't notice your presence. Suddenly, though, he pauses, looks up, and quick as a cat its talons, readies two daggers. Oh there, fella. Your friendly tone of voice has immediate effect. The man quickly relaxes his aggressive stance, sheathes his weapons, and pulls a quill and a scrap of parchment out of one of his pockets. Dexterously, he writes down a couple of phrases, then holds it out for you to read. Mew, can't speak. You look professional. You the source hunter the wizard asked for. Indeed, I am the source hunter. Excitedly, the man turns over the scrap and pens a few more lines. Name's Wargraf. I admire you. No hero like source hunter. Sizey or dead end. Please let me join you. If you'd like to join me, I need to know a bit more about you. Walgraf nods enthusiastically and pulls a couple of ripped parchment pieces out from his vestments. Hastily, he covers them with words and pushes them in your hands, one after the other. Been mute since I was a kid. Sorcerers took my voice. People think I'm stupid. I'm not. Get money, food where I can. Steal if I must. Not from poor folks. I'm a good sneak. Good fighter, good with locks, see things you've done. Want to help you, I'm useful. Want to catch sorcerers, make them pay, please. So what I'm gonna do quickly is send this stuff to someone.
Wargraf notices there's no room left in your party and shrugs his shoulders. Nothing he can do about that. Okay, we need to get rid of her first. <clears throat> that is, how can I help you, my friend? I need you to leave the party for now. <sighs> to the homestead then. And now let's pick him up. Wolgraf looks at you expectantly. Clearly, he wants to know when Wolgraf eagerly catches your gaze with the best puppy eyes imitation he can muster. So, let's take him. I could use someone with your specific type of expertise. Consider yourself hired. Be welcome, Wolgraf. Riches await if you'll obtain them for us. Wolgraf smiles and shakes your hand in thanks. With a gesture of the arm, he seems to say, I'm ready, lead the way. So there we go, we've got a new companion. And we can... So the good thing is, when they join, they join at the average party level. So let's... We're not going to use him for most of the game. So, I'd like to get lock picking up. No, we can't. We can't change. Okay. Well, let's do this now then. But the good thing is, he has skills in pickpocketing and lock picking. If we get an accessory, then those levels will go up. Um, there is quite a big cave system here and we'll come back to this but first we need to go back to town and heal up I think I need to dry off Good to have you back, Sauce Hunter. A sight for sore eyes indeed. It's heating up. So now with Wolgraf, we can do some more looting. There's a whole area on the north we, we missed. So let's check for some accessories. Sicil isn't so bad on a quiet day like this, is it? The excuse is more holy than the slice of this fine corn. Back at the King Crab Inn. Oh, come, darling, don't dither. You must speak with Mendius and join the Fabulous Five immediately. I so long for us to realize our true potential, side by side, spirit by spirit, heart by heart. They should have something. Tell me, Alistair, have you ever had the fortune of challenging the fabled wizard of Hunter's End? How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. Oh, Shredder, the end is nigh. Death comes a-creeping for you, Victoria! So, still no useful gear. By the filed teeth of Sulumar Soul Shredder, the end is nigh. Death comes a creeping for you. That Victoria! is foreboding magic this tradeswoman is selling. Witchcraft from the look. Okay, let's try the market. 
Oh, we can talk to this guy. We haven't been in here yet. Greetings, traveller. And may the Immaculate Conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Tell me, have you yet heard the revelation? Tell me about yourself. What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the Conduit's eyes, and only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. What revelation do you mean exactly? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the Goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. Steal yourself, friend. For your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift. And the gift is thus. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. Tell me more about this conduit. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess where all living souls are naturally inclined. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of life, but that through her methods we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. What do you mean by the one way? Ah. For this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silverglen, where all may be revealed. There, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Okay. Do I seem like the sort who concerns myself with such things? You'll be concerned enough when you realize that reward. So this cult seems to be bigger than we first realized. Let's check the shops for some equipment. Gracious patron, I see your tarred eyes looking a bit teary. I've just the potion for that. Or would you prefer a toasty fire spell to dry those vapors? Here we go, pickpocketing. We'll take that. And if we can get lock picking, that would be great. Let's equip that. Why can't we equip that ring? Who brought the ring? Oh, oh no, it wasn't a ring, was it? It was uh, for hands. Here we go. I thought we had some lock picking, but maybe not. Tomatoes. 
join the spud club if you've got an eye for farm potatoes. Made a big cheese on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. No. Watch the undead quiver in their mouldy boots. I wonder if this guy sells any useful things. To what do I owe the repeated pleasure, Source Hunter? Not really, let's let's save our money. So let's go back to the um, captain's office. He might have some equipment. No, he doesn't have anything. Oh, he's a cat now. Careful, comrade. I think I sense his. How can I help you, my friend? Do you have lock picking gear? No. Okay, well. That didn't work out too well. We do have pickpocketing though, at level 2. So let's go and see Esmeralda. Actually, let's report about the lighthouse quickly. Here they are. Their lair isn't to be found by the lighthouse, but we thinned their ranks all right. Well done indeed. We accomplished our mission and more, Lieutenant. So you'll send us home as promised, yes? So I will. The fact a volunteer stands and you have earned your ticket home. There you go, with Well, look what the cat dragged in. Good to see you. My brave troops were just telling me how they proudly vanquished the undead near the lighthouse. Yeah, not quite. Did you get to witness my valiant soldiers in action? Yeah, kind of. Yep, quite the pair of heroes you have there. Bravest guards we've met, like lions. Yes, I bet legionnaires can impress even source hunters. Now, as for my two braids here, you shall prepare to leave Seal post haste. You're going home, as is your just reward. Thank you, Lieutenant. All in the day's work. That's good, we've just leveled up and health back. So maybe now we can get Wolfcraft. Yeah, nice. Excellent, that worked out perfectly. And for Scarlet, we'll, we'll just keep that one point. And he has two points to use. Let's focus on defense a bit. Now uh, let's get this one and this one. And Medora. 
can do the same. Okay, let's go lockpick and pickpocket. Did someone leave an oven door open? So this area by by her. Did someone leave an oven door open? There's a lot of chests. So we need to split up and distract everyone. in my garden. My sheep is missing. An orc ate my baby. Night and day, day and night. So there's quite a few soldiers that walk up and down here so we need to s distract everyone. Talk to animals, but half a one won't be falling for such a tall tail. No, nothing in there. What a waste of time. There's a key. How about these chests? Uh, he needs some. He needs some lock picks. I'm overheating here. Honored to meet you. Wish I was a sauce hunter. Dangerous line of work, but it's a damn sight more glorious than being a legionnaire. Ah, uh, level three. Okay. I don't know what the wooden figurines are for. And can we pickpocket this guy while we're here? So you see the bars on the bottom are empty. So the top one is the weight limit and the bottom one is the value limit. When either one of them are maximum on the red, then you can't steal anymore. But I think we can get everything here. See the value went up slightly. So we could steal more from him. Let's see what else there is here. So we're done on this side. Now, oh, where is my pepper? Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, there it is. <coughs> That's enough of that now. Better to evacuate this place while there's still some left to save, I say. Go while the going's good. Oh, level 4. So if we had accessories we could get the level 3 one. So what was the key for if we can't open these chests? Ah, 
And another thing, once you pickpocket someone, you can't pickpocket them again with the same character. But you can pickpocket with a different character, if that makes sense. You're a sauce hunter, aren't you? They say you can talk to the animals, but I for one won't be falling for such a tall tale. Oh, no. oh, lock picking, nice. So we can get that chest. Let's equip that. What was it? It wasn't hands again, was it? Okay. Well, we'll have to swap them around for what we want to do. So let's get that level 3 chest we saw here. Legion couldn't save this place. What are you gonna do? This one. That's it, level three. I'm un unlocked. That's nice, that's for Roderick. Not too bad. So we're finished here. I'm warm as fresh apple pie. Let's see what else we can steal. How about we get in this door? Be careful that there's guards that walk around here. So this is Esmeralda's room. Here's Esmeralda. We stole all her things here. Let's see what she was hiding. There's a secret hatch. Interesting. Purifying fire scroll. Removes burning and something else I didn't see. I picked the lock and I could have took the key, oh well. Let's see what's in the hatch, shall we? There's a button here, what's that for? A secret room. Sometimes there's traps, so we'll graph and go in alone, I think. This is good for money, and we can sell it back to her. Oh, five fire arrows, that's good. A bloody dagger. Now with this, 
you can use as evidence against Esmeralda if you want to arrest her. That's just another option you can do through the story. Gain all the loot. Oh yeah. I think maybe if we get this knife we might get experience. Yes, 260 experience. We can make some basic um, armour with these cloth scraps. I haven't been doing that recently, I haven't been doing it. We could do that soon I guess. So I think that's everything, what's in here? Not too bad. So we've looted her room. Let's get these paintings to sell. So tell ah. me, Septimus, would your wife or sweetheart be compensated by the Legion should tragedy befall you on the battlefield? Look at this, the perfect murder. So you can use this as evidence against her too. Quite a lot of text there. So the perfect murder, Esmeralda. What's that for? Although we don't, we know you didn't do it now, anyway. So, guys. I think that uh, video is long enough and when we come back we'll continue lockpicking through doors. We can go through this mayor's door now I think and a couple more places and then we'll head back out, head back out around this area just northwest of the town and north and soon we'll be heading maybe Evelyn's layer or towards the cave I haven't decided yet but anyway guys thanks for watching and if you enjoyed please hit the like button and think about subscribing 
But until next time, see you again.